Hey, this is Mike Renoir, Northwest Fight Scene, NWFightScene.com. I'm here uh, backstage, Knucklehead 8 at Dallas High School in Dallas, Oregon, uh, with main event winner Shorty Blyko, man. What a main event, what a fight. Uh, you retained your belt against a tough, tough Denny Linton. Uh, this was a rematch, but uh, he's, he was a different Denny Linton this time. Uh, talk about that fight. Yeah, Denny actually came in quite a bit stronger into this fight, and I could definitely tell he prepared with his stand-up and also his ground. Uh, he brought a lot better wrestling to the game. Um, his jiu-jitsu was still, you know, normal. I didn't uh, have to deal with that too much. Just he was really good on landing his elbows and using his wrestling to neutralize my did not expect him to use so much wrestling and underestimated him a little bit, but still was able to come out victorious. Uh, yeah, first couple rounds, uh, you said in the post fight, you know, in the in the cage that you thought he won, uh, that you needed to finish him in the fight. You want to finish him in the fourth. Talk about those later rounds for you. Yeah, I knew uh, from the beginning, you know, we were back and forth on the wrestling. I think we were about even on punches and strikes, but he got the, I would give him the victories for the takedowns. But as we got later in the rounds, you know, I could feel him starting to fatigue more. I've been practicing to go into deeper waters in this fight. I was actually prepared to go the five rounds if I had to. So I knew if I drug it out a little bit longer and longer that the advantage would tip further and further into my scale. So uh, just ended up going along with that. You know, he still took a couple of takedowns, but I wasn't too worried about him. Um, he wasn't doing too much damage minus his fists and his elbows, but a very tough, tough kid. Um, was able to get a reversal and then when I was on top, I was landing a lot of my elbows and strikes and heavy hands and then ended up flattening him out and then finish him off with uh, punches to ear to ear. Right on. Now, uh, so you retained the belt. Uh, you said you would taken a year off. Uh, why, the, why the hiatus? Uh, I ended up injuring one of my shoulders and then took a year off and then took a fight on like, I'd like to say like two weeks notice and then took a loss and then kind of had to find out what I really wanted to do as the fight game. Lots of promotions weren't paying what it was worth to go into the fight, so I took off to work over for Midwest Towers and traveled the States for a little bit doing work for them, and then watching some of these fights made me really realize how much I miss my fighting and stuff and decided to come back with it. So I started training with Jason in Art of War about a month and a half ago and was able to come in here and practice and actually really noticed some of the key points that I need to work on now, especially if I'm going to take a July fight. Don't, might be enough wins, but I can't give you guys any further details until everything's finalized. Right on. So, uh, obviously, a lot of people to thank for this uh, fight tonight. Who do you want to want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to the graphic shop, uh, Art of War, and my team for helping me get ready. Uh, Brad's Cottage Grove Chevy, if you haven't checked them out and you're looking for a vehicle, go check them out. Um, actually, it's also Evergreen. Uh, roofing down in Eugene, also uh, Mattified Performance. Try not to forget anybody. Uh, Mark McLean Taxidermy. And uh, I'd like to give a thank out to my wife, of course. We just got married in July, so she supports me and like a personal manager. So, awesome. congratulations on the marriage. Congratulations on the win. Uh, we really are glad to see you back in, and we look forward to you next time in there, Shorty. Appreciate the time. Northwest Fights Team and Shorty White. Northwest Fights. All right.